How's it going everybody? My name's uh, Christoph and in this video I'm going to quickly walk you through installing Pi ENV, PIP ENV on a Debian Linux uh, distribution. The reason you might want to do this is when you deploy an app you're usually going to be uploading it to a server. The server is going to be running I don't know Ubuntu server, server for example which is that's pretty much what I use for my app deployments and when you deploy your app you're going to have to make sure you have all the same versions of uh, Python and your libraries that you used that you wrote your code with installed on that machine. So I like to use PyENV which installs the correct version of Python because while you're developing obviously Python can update and so if you were to install the latest version the program may work or it may not work but you never know sometimes you have like four versions go by if you want to redeploy an app later on in the future and you need this to uh, install Python, the correct version of Python. So uh, let's get started. I got a markdown file here. I'll make all of these available for download. So here, I uh, obviously I'm on my Mac, but I'm SSH'd into my Debian computer, which is behind me. So the first steps is uh, obviously we need to install, uh, we need to get the system ready. So we're gonna have to run an update on it. So let's just do that real quick. And then now we need to run this command. I've noticed sometimes you have to remove this Python open SSL, but let's see if it works. Yep, see, that's what I thought. All right, so let's just take that out. I'll remove that from the guide here that I'm gonna post online. So let this run, have it all install, and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, we are all upgraded. So now the next step is to actually install PyENV, which is this command here. Uh, this just downloads a script from online and runs it. So let's paste that in. And it's that easy. PyENV is installed, but there's still a few steps. We need to uh, add PyENV to the path. So that's what these next lines here are for. Let's copy that. It's, gonna, it's not really going to give you any information that it did anything. That's how uh, these echo commands work. And the final one. And so now we just need to reload our bash RC file. So you do that with source. So now that's reloaded. So we may need here to restart our shell. Sometimes you don't have to. So let's just type in versions. Nothing should show up because I haven't installed anything yet. Okay, so Pi ENV is working and running and it seems to be added to the path properly. So hold on, let's clear the screen here and get some more working room. So let's try installing. Here we go. All right, it looks like it's working properly. Okay, as you can see, that uh, installed properly. So now, if I were to type in Python, obviously nothing happens because we have not set this as our global version yet. So in order to do that, we'll do this next command that we have over here. Global 3.8.0. So now if I type in Python, there you go, it opens Python 3.8. So pretty easy to install. So there you see it works with Python and Python 3. I'm pretty sure Debian Linux comes, or this version of Linux comes with Python 3.10, yep. So that was the original version installed on this computer. So let's quit out of that. If we use pip or pi env versions, you'll see we have our 3.8 installed. This asterisk next to it is the one that we set as global. As you start installing more and more of these, you can just change between all these different versions. Okay, so with this command, pi env install dash dash list, this is everything that you can install using pi env. As you can see, there's a ton of versions. Basically everything, wow. So my, the program we're gonna deploy later uses this version. So let's install that now. So hang on one minute, and then we'll switch to this, and then we'll install uh, PIP ENV. All right, that's all. That's all done. 
So now if we do pi e and reversions, you'll see we have two installed. So let's make uh, 12 a global version by doing And so now you'll see the asterisk moved. Okay, let's run through the install of pip env real quick. Let us do this command. Pip is now upgraded. So let's install pip env. All right, so before we get started, we need to add this to the path because I think if we do this, yep, no file. So let's run this command here. And we need to reload bash RC since we just added that to the path. Let Linux know, so let's see. And there we go. Pip ENV is installed. So now if we wanted to install a specific version of Python and create an environment at the same time, uh, let me just make a quick test directory here. And then we'll just do a pip env install dash dash Python 3.12.0. And you let this run, and now we are running. We got our pip file, we got our pip file.lock. So now if we do a pip env shell to activate this environment, you'll see right here, we are in that environment. So now if we do pip env install, it's only gonna install stuff in this particular environment which is located here on my local machine. I'm gonna deploy an app on here real quick and show you how that's done. Back with you here, I got the uh, this little app here that I built installed on this computer. Um, but as you can see, if I were to type Python app, it's gonna break because uh, the environment's not built yet. So let's just do a quick uh, look at the pip file. Oops. So you'll see here, it's going to install Python on 3.12. It's going to install Git, Python, Flask, and Markdown. Uh, this is a little web graphical interface I created to look at my um, my local Git repositories. So let's do a pip env install. And it should use all of these things here to build out our program. So here you can see it's using our Pi ENV version 3.12.0, creating it. So all of that is installed. Let's do our, oops, <laughs> I'm an idiot. And now if we do a quick, there we go. All right, I wonder if I can access this, let me try. What is the app IP address there? I think it's 192, 130, oops, 130, port 5000. Nope, can't reach it, that's okay. That's because it's it's only doing it on localhost. Hang on, let me, uh, let me fix that real quick. I think all I have to do is go down here, host equals, Zero dot zero dot zero dot zero comma and let's try this. Okay, copy. Oh, it's already in there. Mm -hmm. Cool. There it is. So I built this uh, yesterday, so now I can. So there, let's look at this application that we're running right now. It's a pretty cool little app. I think I'll do a video on this and I'll make it available to you guys. But here you can see there's a pip file that we just used. It's an old, pro old project I did a long time ago. So yeah, guys, I uh, hope this was helpful. Um, 
if you're in, if you're uh, needing to install certain versions of Python and then pip env, uh, then you can uh, deploy your app just like this. Obviously, this is a development environment. There's more steps. But uh, for now, thanks for watching.